Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try and see if we know how to add complex numbers and subtract complex numbers. All right, our first one, we have 4 minus 2i plus 3 plus 4i. So we have to add the real parts and add the imaginary parts together. So that becomes, for the real part, we have 4 plus 3. And then plus, for the imaginary parts, we have minus 2 plus 4. And that would be times i, and then of course if we simplify that, that would be equal to 7 minus 2 plus 4 would be plus 2i. And so that's as easy as it gets. We simply add the real parts together and add the imaginary parts together. How about subtracting? Well, the rules are the same as normal subtracting. We subtract the real parts and the imaginary parts. But we do have to be careful about the signs just like we normally do. So this becomes, that would be 7 minus 5 plus negative 3 minus a minus 2. So that's how I handle the negative signs times i. And of course 7 minus 5 that's equal to 2 and minus 3 minus a minus 2. Now the minus times the minus becomes plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 times a plus that would be negative 1i or simply negative i. How about the third example? Well, that one is a little bit more complicated because we first have to change the square root of negative numbers to the imaginary number including the letter i. So let's do that. So this can be written, let me just do it over here. This is equal to, that would be minus 5 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. Minus, minus 2 plus the square root of 12 times the square root of negative 1. And so that's how, we can, that's how we're able to separate the, the radicals in such a way that we can, or let me say that again, in that way we can separate the i from the radical. So now we can turn this into an i, so this becomes negative 5 plus the square root of 3 times i, and this is minus, minus 2 plus the square root of 12 times i. Of course, we can probably simplify the square root of 12 because that's, well, let's do that. Let, let's go ahead and simplify this. So this is equal to negative 5 plus the square root of 3 times i minus a negative 2 plus 12, that's 4 times 3, and the square root of 4 is 2, so that would be 2 times the square root of the 3 times i, like that. And now we can combine the real parts and the, and the imaginary parts, actually not we're combining, we're actually subtracting. So this is a minus 5 minus a minus 2. So that's for the real part. Plus, we have the square root of 3 minus 2 times the square root of 3 times i. And then you can see that a minus times a minus makes that a plus. So minus 5 plus 2, that's equal to negative 3. And then here we have the square root of 3 minus 2 times the square root of 3 would be minus the square root of the 3 times i. So it's actually a good, a good thing that we simplify the square root of 12 to twice the square root of 3 because then we can combine the radicals together like that. But that is the final answer. And that is how it's done.